Ladies and gentlemen, so welcome back to kajidataonline.com. This uh, particular evening, I'm going to share with you how to construct an epidemiological curve. So the functions of epidemiological curve, you can refer to the link below. Uh, it's basically, basically a curve that um, show the accumulations of the numbers of cases that are already being indicated. And then this particular um, curve or graph is very important and crucial in justifying the incubation period. Okay, to give the idea uh, to the epidemiologist or any infectious diseases expert to know the peak of the distribution and thus construct the hypothesis to know whether this germ is actually the source or this germ is actually influencing this particular diseases. Okay, and then we um, are going to focus on the determining the epic curve based on the relevant factors. In this case, we can see here, we got a lot of factors named as gender, category, onset, distant age and also city okay before we begin with let us have a look about our data set and understand a little bit about their variables so we got the id here we got the gender as indicated male and female we got the category um, workers students or others and then we got the date of the onset uh, onset means that the first time of the patients uh, got sick and then we got the distant age and we got the city council and this one is the day that already being extracted from this date so i produce another video to explain to you how you can extract this particular date in your surveillance data set for example in your surveillance data system for example uh, to extract it into this uh, day format you see this one is day one until day 31st that's mean i'm just um, having a simulation of the data set that already been gathered um, somewhere um, during 2019 um, in the january month okay so to begin with let us have a look about the data and the first step that we need to do is actually we have to construct this particular column the h column so if you want to practice this exercise you can just download this particular worksheet because i already explained everything in the description below so have a look and please download accordingly so after you download it you open it and then let us construct it together so the first one you have to use the day here and then you can press the shift command and arrow button simultaneously so automatically it's already being highlighted here and then you go to this particular box and name it as day d a y and hit the enter button so the next one is actually we want to select also the column b so you have to do like this you go to the gender here and then shift control arrow down or shift command arrow down using your Macintosh or windows it depends and then go to these boxes here on the left hand uh, left hand side here and then type gender for example i already typed it before so automatically now the um, microsoft excel is already identified that the whole of this uh, column or b column is identified as gender and the d is already being identified um, in this uh, h column so to construct your epidemiological curve we have to start with something to do with the time so in this case i'm going to use d as our time so we got the day one and then we got day two so you know that the january got 31st day so we have to map it like this so we got uh 31 day so it's depend on your epidemiological curve you can also make your epidemiological curve by week or you can make it also by month it depends on the incubation and the severity or the chronic uh, chronic uh, conditions of your diseases uh, before the first infectious period until it's an onset period so the next one you type here as case and then we have to count the case so to teach the computer how to count the case um, simply you can just go to this box and write this equation you put equal and then you type it as count c o u n t i f count if we are teaching the computer to count if count if what and then we have to open the bracket here and then take the range as you know we already spell it out just now that the range is d because we want to refer to the day one let's say we want to know day one how many cases reported day two how many cases reported therefore 
we have to spell it like this d a y because we already specified that particular column before is a d column comma and then the criteria is actually referring to this day so that the computer is already understand they will refer to this day column on the sheet one and then uh, refer to this b3 or the d1 and then they will count it um count it automatically so we got eight cases here all right so if you don't believe me you can just go back to your data and then you can count it manually like this you can see the sum is eight or the count is eight is similar so the next one uh what you have to do is actually you can just drag this particular data down here like this and then after you highlight it accordingly you can go to this um, panel okay and then you can write uh, your 2d column for example clustered column and then automatically the charts are going to be appear like this uh, unfortunately if you want to add it more let's say you have uh, 31st january you got another case so maybe you are going to do like this right you can just go like this and then you have to insert it manually you will do like this you will go down and then insert it manually at the here okay you will insert it manually so to make your life easier actually the microsoft excel is very good so you can just highlight uh, every details of your data set like this and then you can just go to the shift command and um, arrow down and then go to the insert and then go to the table and automatically um, the computer are going to highlight it and as default there are already tick this one as my table has address okay it's address got some details on the uh, first row of this particular data set and then i'm going to hit the ok button so automatically this uh, particular worksheet is already an automatic response so if anybody or any epidemiologist or environmental health officer want to edit this data they can just uh, proceed with the another uh, data set here for example 1200 is male and then uh, they are uh, students and then this is the 31st 2019 so the distance from the disease is around 30 meter for example and then the age is around 23 and then this is from the council a and then the day uh, is actually 31 okay all right so automatically the computer are going to edit more this one automatically if you're doing uh, the things that I mentioned to you just now all right so now it's already finished so you have to make some sort of um, some sort of uh, beautiful chart here by uh, requesting uh, particularly the the value here so you can see here uh, this is the chart so we have the the increasing of the disease reporting until the date uh, 10 and then it's declining over the time so that's mean uh, the incubation period of this particular disease is approximately 10 days okay so that is the first one how to make the epidemiological curve so i'm going to continue my example here with more um, little bit insight of the analytics part uh, to visualize the comparison for example in our gender factor which is we got male and female here so the first thing that we need to do is actually similarly we have to construct an equation a simple one it's equal you type here as count ifs with the s and then open bracket so the criteria the first criteria let's say i'm looking for the gender and then i'm going to hit the comma button and the criteria will be the male and then i'm going to hit the comma button again for the next criteria so the next criteria will be the day because we want the computer to understand what is the first day numbers of male and then we want to know after this what is the day of number for female so after d2 comma day we have to put another comma and then the criteria for this range will be the day number one do not hit the enter yet i repeat do not hit the enter yet you have to understand that this d2 after you hit enter it will be automatically setting up and if you drag down it will be moved so to lock it therefore you have to put the 
dollar sign function like this you have to lock it using this dollar sign in front uh, of the number two here that's mean we specify for the column and then for the b3 here we specify for the row with a dollar sign also then we can hit the enter button so after you hit this enter button you can hit or you can drag your column into another female column and automatically everything is already being copied on uh, from the first day until the 31st day so automatically it's there so remember don't forget to put the dollar sign here i made a repetition so the dollar sign here in front of the number two is actually in front of any numbers actually is indicated the uh, freezing of the any element for that particular row sorry for that particular column and for anything with regard to the row we put it in front of it so um, now it's finished then we just need to do some uh, selections of the data like this and then similarly go to the insert and then go to your graph and then you can see this one so this is the parallel graph um, i'm so sorry i may not need this one i would like to have this one the stack one all right so now we have the epidemiological curve indicate the series one and the series two so what is the series one so the series one is actually for a male and the series two is actually talking about a female and then you make your um, epidemiological curve much more uh, nicer by adjusting the title um, the x axis the y axis so uh, from now on we can see that uh, there is uh, is there any um, what we call it as the excess risk between male and female so we can see it over this particular example uh, to show you in the straight manner um, when constructing an epidemiological curve okay i hope that you can find this particular video is very useful so please don't forget to subscribe um, my channel down there so you can learn a lot uh, of tricks and also ideas on epidemiological data analysis see you again bye bye and thank you very much